Hello everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We are back at the camp now, continuing on from the last one. Uh, the the other people from that other faction have infiltrated everything we are here, and like they're just they're just everywhere now. So and they do appear as enemies on our map right now, which is pretty interesting because previously they appeared as friendlies. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in the next couple of, of moments. But for the time being, we have to meet up with Sigurd. I think they're all sitting in that hall over there, and uh, yeah, that's where we continue on with the main story, I assume. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna go inside this house here, right? It's Eivor! Open the door! Come in, and keep your voice down. It will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back! The wash will never end! Two days ago, we rid this land of Kyrtve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own! Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home, a kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home. But the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. I mean, I think I would feel nice if I just left the resources here and started fresh. If you object, I understand. Let your father keep Kjotvis riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. We didn't really grab too many resources here anyway, so that's not much of a problem, I don't think. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. Okay, speak to Sigurd at the docks. Wow, it seems like we're just going to go straight off to England. Like, right now. Or, like, very soon at least. Which I find pretty interesting because... There is a lot of... A lot of this world that we came into is so much unexplored. Like, all of this, you know? All of this up here. A little bit of stuff over here with a book and everything. And this is all unexplored territory. It, it might be that at some point during... In the later stages of the... Of the main campaign, we have to venture back to Norway. To do something, but... For the time being, I find it a little bit strange that we're leaving so soon. That's alright though. Uh, 
Uh, let's double check if we can upgrade our rations, actually. We need 100 and we have 78. All right, we've got to wait a little bit longer. We need a little bit more iron ore. Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. The act of leaving so beloved a home. There is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. I'm ready. Let us tank to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd, what is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga in England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. Stirbjorn Jarl. Our men were killed as we patrolled nearby. And the word is, Eivor swung the axe. If the dead could speak, what would they say of their deaths, Wolf Kissed? They would tell you how they offered us insults, and how I slew them for it. As the dead cannot defend themselves, a bare gelt is wanted. Fifty weight of silver for each life. By law. Fifty weight? You will have it from me. A parent must pay the price of his children's folly. That was generous, Lord. Why England? Why throw away all you have for such an uncertain future? Here you could be a king's hero, Eivor. Your name known all across Harold's many kingdoms. No. I will not be captive to another man's gaudy design. My destiny is my own to weave. Eivor speaks for both of us, father. You gambled your honor and you lost your family. I hope the trade was worth it. Anger and sadness wrestle for my heart. But I am glad you'll leave this place alive. Alrighty, off to England we go, I guess. I thought he was going to be a little bit more disappointed than that, but well, apparently not. The time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool. Put some muscle into those pools. Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back route. Sigurd, what's our course? The songs of Ragnar yeah. established the settlement near the coast. We set sail for that. Ragi, sing a song to lift our room. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia. A temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! Hurvalhalla! Oh, that reminds me actually so much of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. It was like a super long pro uh, prologue at the start. And it seemed like the game had started. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Alright, so that that area in, in Norway was pretty much like the, the intro nearly.
a lecture at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening, and if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? Wow, that seems like... That seems like me, right? You're that is Ivor? Mm. Wow, really crazy blast from the past. Alright. What are we doing here? What is the plan? Go check out this, uh, this viewpoint over here. It's beautiful, but it's not normal. What was what were they saying before? Like massive amounts of radiation or something? Okay, so I, I assume this is like a really far into the future. All right, let's go have a look at the car. Anywhere. Not yet. Alright, what we need is probably inside then. Yeah, there we go, over that way. I don't think we can go in the door though for some reason. Would love to play around, but I have bigger things on my mind. Did you get my tea? Oh, mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How was the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. Alright, I don't think there's too much to explore out here. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. I think out in this world it's sort of just giving me an, a sense of an idea of what's going on, I guess. You gonna put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. I find it very, really weird though, because she said the whole key to everything is Ivor, like dead in the ground. So, huh, I don't really understand why he would be the key to everything here. Let's have a look. I mean, I don't know. I'm not really in the mood to read through all this stuff. It might give a little bit better understanding what's going on. Oh, we might watch a video. I lived, I died, and now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another. 
another death. Wow, it's weird. It seems like everything is linked to uh, to Eivor. All right, let's uh, let's jump back in because we should be heading off to England now, I guess. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go and... No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. I, I find it a rather funny coincidence that they played the exact message the, the exact message they played was the only single message that I actually listened to. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's coincidence or that's just how it's meant to play out. I don't know. Oh, here we are, England. There she is, England, our new home. Not a patch on Norway, but we'll make this land our own soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all. And we'll be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory. The Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randvi, take in your oars, all standing. Have you spotted something? Not yet. Well, let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Sail off. Yes. I'm ready for whatever these green-thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do not, for they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No, no. We will speak with them, get the lay of the land, and carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there. Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them, like our sacrifices to Odin, the one-eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. That is the difference. Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off. Got to hand it to him. He's got. He's got a point. <laughs> it looks like we might be docking over there, where all the people are. Look there! What are they doing? Ritual drowning. 
Oh, wow. Well. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always! They shape precious metals and cut jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. Definitely looking forward to raiding all this. Pull up over there. The way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dad. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. Alrighty, let's go do it. We get to try and try and release this chain, apparently. We don't have any arrows. According to that, the king. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a lot going on here. If I assassinate this guy, uh, a lot of them are gonna see. Let's try it. Did he have any arrows? One silver, okay. No arrows. I keep forgetting that I can whistle as well. That might be pretty, pretty important in taking out the, the coming people. Oh wow, they just found him. Alright, let's go around the... Stay sharp. Let's go around the long way. Because I can imagine the chains are going to be pretty close to this wall over here. Is that a fish? It is a fish. This chain is huge. Only well, anchored it appears. I might be able to shoot it. I don't have any arrows though, unfortunately. Oh, here we go. There's some arrows up top here. That's good. That was pretty, pretty easy. Got out of there pretty scratch free. Kind work, I say we go back, Sigurd. Give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dad. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and ale on hand when we arrive. You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Ivar Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig tender and juicy, and ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dag? And fear for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago. And Before we go too far, let's just double check, see if we can look at our world map so we know sort of where we're coming from and where we're going. Ah, interesting. So we came from here, like the North Sea, and we're coming straight into the middle of Mercia. Interesting, okay. 
Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to f***ing We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. The ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead. Where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last! To find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find. No. Let us get a closer look. Grant a bridge. Yeah, grant a bridge to Shire. We should huh. proceed on foot, lest they stop the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a yard. And if they are foes, then we fight them all together. Ragnarsson's encampment. Okay. Are we docking here? I think we are. Who are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Eivor! On me! What's this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways? You there? Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Formberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten those men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakrout, and draw your weapon. Oh, oh here we go. Kill these you have what you wish for, Dad. Oh, true. I'm using this flail thing. Hey, we finally get to try this out. Wow, he like chucks sand at me there. Okay, so it's marking the enemies that are left. Can I grab another arrow here? Not oh, just some silver, okay. Oh, I don't have any arrows left. Alright, we're gonna, gonna kill this guy the old fashioned way. Let's try out our. Oh, did that not work? I thought I could like drag him off the edge. Right, I'll check the longhouse. 
A longhouse. Where's the longhouse at? Over here? Rations are full. Okay. Oh, here. The longhouse up here. Send the bird up. Show me what lies ahead. Oh, this is definitely going to be a settlement. Hey, look at this. It's got the markings for all the all the things we could potentially build. Okay. Well, at least I assume that's what it means. Scavengers might still be hiding in the remains of the longhouse. Oh, here we go. Wait. Who are you? Are you with those brigands as well? Sigurd, Dag, in here. Those men had prisoners. Able. Oh, there's a door right here. Man, I'm so dumb. A nice truck. You there! Untie us! Let us walk and we will not hurt you! Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did, till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest speeder. But I ripped their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the Sons of Ragnar, at Hastan Yal's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the Sons of Ragnar? Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me, but it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable to keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again, somewhere. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Dag? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg, son of Stirbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. From strangers, into friends, into family. The others have arrived. Come. I have a good feeling about this place. Honored family, friends. Welcome to your new home. So here we are, this is it. This is our settlement. Or how it begins at least. A lot of work is to be done here. <laughs> Fine work. 
A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come. Ranvi has found something I would like you to see. Eivor? Sigurd? I give you England, and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the Sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe, the village of ravens. Hmm, I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build. Expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived, and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dear. All right. What else have you found? Short notes, mostly. So I also think that uh, might be the best thing to do right now. Getting the blacksmith up and running again is, is probably pretty damn good for us at this point. Getting new weapons and upgrading our weapons and stuff. For the time being, we just upgraded an additional two skill points. Now we have four altogether. So we should definitely start spending those before we, before we get a little bit in over our head. Alrighty, so we could upgrade this melee damage and work our way over up to the top here, or we could work our way more down to the bottom. It goes a little bit more into the into the wolf territory. I think I do want to mainly focus on these two and like going in this direction. I'm not really too excited about doing any sort of melee damage builds or anything like that, so I think if I unlock this, it's going to go over this way again. I might try and work my way down here, and this will unlock both areas. So light attack damage, always handy. Melee damage, can't go wrong with that. Double check what is up here. Stealth adrenaline. While in stealth, gain adrenaline by looting a chest or pickpocketing, pickpocketing in a restricted area. That seems pretty good. It's interesting though, because this is like a stealth like node. But the stealth area for me is like over this way. So, I don't know, it's really about just discovering the tree and it's not really straightforward what things could be unlocked in what direction. Here we go, we got something else here. Battleground bolt. Pick up the nearest discarded weapon and automatically throw it at an enemy inside. Oh, that, that sounds so sick. Hang on, let's look at the video. Oh yeah, I like that. Oh, I really like that one. I mean, we could upgrade this if we want. It's just a passive skill, right? Let's go for this one. Because I do find myself shooting a bow and then quickly switching over to an axe or something. So let's upgrade for this one for now. So I think that's all the points we had available. Uh, we're probably going to make our way down to this one. Because I really want to try that one out. So yeah, alrighty. Oh, while we're in our inventory, let's uh, switch our, our main hand weapon over again. Because I don't really like using this. I didn't really find it that well. I don't want to use the two hand. I want to use this one hand. Because I really like using a shield. Because if you don't time the parry right, at least you can still block a bit of damage. Which is nice. Uh, we can upgrade some gear, but like I said before, I sort of want to save my... Save my stuff to upgrade my rations next, I think. So, let's uh, let's head off and speak to Gunnar. Before we get going with this blacksmith mission, I think that's where I'm going to end it here, guys. It's going a little bit longer than I thought it would, and I can, I'm can i pretty sure after we speak to this blacksmith, we're going to go have to go uh, raiding somewhere for some, for some ingots or something else to help him get back on his feet. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. It's going to continue on from here in the next episode, and I look forward to starting off our adventure in England. So, guys, see you in the next video.